faces. Now they're pretty tricky to get right and to me they're the most important part of painting any miniature. So I put together this illustrated guide on how I tackle it. As I always say, there are plenty of ways to paint and this is just another way how to do it. So by the end of this video, I hope you get something from it. Let's get straight into it. Today I'm using an Army Painter Fine Detail brush, an old size one brush for my washes, and a double zero size brush for my larger details along with a wet palette. And the paints I'm using today are Cadian Flesh, Gulliman Flesh Wash, Kislev Flesh, Pallid Witch Flesh, Dryad Bark, and Vallejo White. And just a quick FYI, I base coated this guy with Wraithbone and all my paints are watered down one part paint to one part water. First things first, I apply a thin base coat of Cadian Flesh all over the face with my double zero size brush. I go all over and I'm not too fussed if I get it anywhere and I use two thin coats of this. After that is dry, I then hit the face with a watered down wash of Gulliman Flesh and I just work the wash into the recesses and make sure it pulls around the face plate. This step gives the face its contrast. I then get out the Kislev flesh and apply this to the larger raised areas on the face like the nose, cheeks, the bottom of the eyelid, the mouth and the chin. You want to be super careful and not get this paint in the recesses and cover up the gullum flesh. Always take your time and make sure you're in a comfortable position when you're doing this. Now I mix in two parts Kislev flesh to one part Pallid Witch flesh and use this to cover less of the previously painted areas. I try to apply the paint to the top half of the cheeks and the chin. I use my Army Paint to Fine Detail brush for this, and again, I just take my time. Next, I add in some more Pallid Witch Flesh to the previous mix, just to lighten it up a bit more. This highlight will really seal the deal and make the skin look like it's being hit by some light. You can go one bit further and add some more Pallid Witch Flesh to this mix and do an additional highlight if you want, but I'm happy with this. Then using the side of my brush, I apply dried bark to the eye socket. Then using the side of my brush again, I apply some white onto the eyeball. I use a dabbing motion because I find this really helps with lining up the paintbrush to the eye. I use a tiny amount of paint for this and this can take me a couple of coats to get the white where I want it. And last up, I use a spot of dried bark just on the middle of the eyeball. I find the smaller the brush, the easier to do and sometimes this can take me a few attempts. If you make a mistake, go back over the white and just try again. Now one thing my example mini lacked was a forehead due to the helmet. With that area, you'll build up those highlights above each eye on the brow line and to the middle of the forehead. Every model has a different face shape, so just look for those raised or flat areas that need a little bit of highlighting. And there you have it, a quick guide to painting an easy face. And to get different skin tones, obviously you'll use different color paints, but essentially the paint placement and the basics are still gonna be the same. But anyway, that's it guys. Please like and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Cheers.